Hello friends, Alex here. Today I'm excited to share my top 5 Linux distributions with you. Now let's get started. Number 5. Parrot OS Parrot OS is both a security testing OS and a good general use operating system. The home edition of Parrot OS allows you to have a simple general purpose computer system but with the security tools within reach if you need them. This distro is Debian based and is very stable, with a few updates every now and then. It does not come with plenty of apps, but more can be installed from the large Debian repositories available. Resource usage stands at 1 GB of RAM usage and CPU at 20%. Performance wise, Parrot OS performs average. It is just fast enough to get you by, but mostly you won't even feel a difference after using it for a while. Overall, Parrot OS is the perfect blend of both security OS and a normal daily use operating system. Number 4. Fedora Fedora is the go-to distro for Red Hat fans. It is free. It offers the latest features and a simple usable system for you to work with. You get plenty of software available for installation and has its own repository which you can access with the DNF and YUM commands. With Fedora, you get security updates from time to time for a given period. Fedora is stable and good daily driver, but it's not a rolling release distro. Resource usage stands at 2GB RAM and CPU at about 50%. Performance wise, Fedora 40 boots pretty fast, the desktop is very responsive and apps open quickly. Performance here is top notch. Number 3 Zorin OS Zorin is a very user friendly and beginner friendly Ubuntu based distribution. It has access to all Ubuntu software and other repositories like the apt repository and gets updates from time to time. It is well designed with multiple layouts, themes, and smooth effects. Being a distro based on Ubuntu LTS, it is really stable and enjoys several years of support. For a new Linux user, you wouldn't even need to touch the terminal at all. It comes with plenty of pre-installed apps so you can get to work immediately after installation. Resource usage stands at 1.3 GB of RAM and CPU at about 25%. Performance wise, Zorin is much slower at first because of the pending updates that need to be installed. But once you are done, it becomes better and better with time. Number 2. Manjaro Manjaro is an Arch based Linux distro. It has its own repository that contains software not provided by Arch and has access to the AUR repository. Manjaro is a rolling release distro but does not allow all recent updates straight away. Developers have time to evaluate and test updates before pushing out to the stable channel. This helps keep your system stable at all times. Manjaro is well themed with the greenish color that makes it look great. System usage is about 1.5 GB RAM and CPU at about 20%. Performance wise, the system performance of Manjaro is roughly the same, possibly a bit faster by barely a noticeable amount when compared to most Linux distros. Before we get to the number one distro on my list, here are some other notable mentions that almost made it to the list. Now let's get back to the list. Number one, Endeavor OS. This is one of the distros that I have had running for the longest time on my PC. Endeavor OS is based on Arch and is a rolling release distro. It doesn't come with many pre-installed apps and has an easy way to install packages from the AUR repository. It is stable. I had a chance to install multiple desktop environments such as GNOME and the Deepin desktop and customized it a lot without breaking it. As for updates, you get the very latest from the Arch repository right away, so you don't miss out on any. This can also mean you risk breaking your system with every update, but it is a trade-off 
if you want to have the latest of Arch. Resource usage stands at about 1 GB of RAM and about 20% of CPU. In terms of performance, Endeavor OS is more bare-bone, generally providing better system performance, especially for older hardware and gives the user more control over what is installed on their system. Endeavor OS is one of, if not the best, Arch distro to use as a daily driver. And there you have it folks, my top 5 Linux distros. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more Linux content. Thanks for watching.